Some people ask, how on earth do you measure the volume in cc of the outlet valve chamber? They ask this because often it's down inside the gun and you've got a male and female parts screwing together with threads on. The valve itself, which may be two or three different diameters and lengths, and the coil of the spring. And so trying to calculate the volume of this odd sized chamber to work out how long a outlet valve standoff you need before the regulator. So the regulator's here and the outlet standoff chamber uh, spacer is just here. Uh, how are you going to measure this volume to start with? Well, uh, most chambers uh, are of a size between one and a half cc would be the smallest and the biggest you generally measure would be 6 cc. The average, if you weren't going to bother at all to measure it, is about 2.8 to 3 cc in this, in this chamber area here. Now, there's no really shortcut method to working out the volume of the chamber. So, if you're not doing maths for some time and working out simple volumes, then you probably best go to a YouTube video on uh, maths and just working out simple uh, volumes of objects. And then all you need to do is get a ruler or a vernier or some form of gauge and measure all the individual components. So the different sizes of the outlet valve itself, its diameter and its length. So as you can work out their volume and then the same with the little chamber at the bottom and measure up the part that screws in to hold this in place and then subtract one from the other to give you a rough volume uh, of air that's in there. Now the other way of doing it which is slightly more precise uh, but you have to just be careful to make sure to dry everything off afterwards is simply to get a syringe that's marked in CC you can get these off eBay, uh, DIY, pharmacy, drugstore you can get them from vets uh, and other such places, for, or sometimes from places that sell ink cartridges for your PC printer. So if you were to get one of these, and if you can get one at all with a uh, blunt needle on, then that's even, even better. And all you simply do is, I use water, you could use some very, very thin silicon oil, but water tends to get into all the nooks and crannies because it's not too thick, and fill the outlet valve chamber with the water and measure the cc. Now on most air guns there isn't really much to go rusty and you're only putting the water in for a very short period of time and of course you're going to take great care to dry it out. Now the spring pressure pressing on the uh, outlet valve is normally enough to stop air leaking through so it should certainly stop any residual water and then you carefully take the mechanism to bits and dry it out. So for example, here's a valve unit out of a FX. As you can see, it's got lots of little holes in it and the inside's quite complicated. This syringe has got three cc of water in it. And so we carefully put the needle down in there, work it around a bit to try and make sure that the water does get into all the nooks and crannies. Now it's just coming up to the top, you have to be careful here, that's it, you can just see that hopefully appearing, we don't want too much of a dome on it, and that tells me that we've taken out, how much have we taken out, 1.6cc, 1, 1 so that's not much volume in there but it's 1.6cc, and then to get the water out, to get most of it out, you can do the reverse process with the syringe, hopefully, which should remove the bulk of it. If you shake it about and get it all in one, one edge, that's that. And then your valve mechanism should, now if you turn, turn your valve mechanism up the other way so the water runs not into the gun but what would be the equivalent of out of the gun and you can take your parts out 
whoops use your cotton swab that you used earlier we will get some fresh ones and, and clean that out and then hopefully then you can use a, a hair dryer and lots of little bits of tissue and just make sure that that's completely dry put it outside in the sun and the same with the uh, the rest of the valve mechanism here if you've got a small compressor you can blow blow the water vapor off and then make sure that they're well dry but then you've got an accurate reading of uh, how many cc this chamber is if your reservoir is obviously made up of a number of components then normally if you were to press the component say Say, that, say that's a complicated component. If you've got a, a, a sheet of cardboard, hard shiny cardboard, or a piece of rubber, like a piece of bicycle inner tube, if you press that down hard onto that as an individual part, and then put the water into the cavity or cavities, and then you can take a, a measurement for individual parts. So if there's two or three parts, like the outlet valve and then a gauge block, and then a standoff that you've already got, then you can add all these up separately by carefully holding them on pieces of rubber tight and injecting the, the water and taking a reading from the syringe. And then just make sure that all the parts are well dry. Most air guns, you'll find a brass uh, or aluminium in there or stainless steel in there outlet valve mechanisms so as long as you're careful we shouldn't have anything going rusty at all although you're thinking oh no I'm not going to put water in there you should be able to easily dry that out with no issues whatsoever so if you've got a complicated outlet valve inside and you want to know the exact volume for your regulator project then I can't recommend anything much better than a finely graduated syringe with a flying uh, blunt needle on the end and then if you're very careful you can work out what you're doing and get an exact uh, volume in cc of that chamber so as you can cut your outlet valve spacer to exactly the uh, right size to keep your uh, reg off the outlet valve